Hello everyone, welcome to Nails of Interest. First off, if you like my nails, check out the little info card, the little eye up here, and you'll see how I made these. After the video, I went and applied another coat. Today's video is a little bit different. It's more geared toward Instagrammers and YouTube nail artists and anybody that just would like to have something like this. I've been asked many times, I've seen friends being asked, I've seen so many YouTubers being asked, how do you get your own custom mani mat? All you do is print out whatever picture you would like onto a piece of, I do matte photo paper, the cheap matte kind, but photo paper, regular paper doesn't work as well. And I used to do regular paper and just put it in one of these. So that's kind of the low definition kind of way to do it. And you could still put photo paper in here and it would look a lot better. But what I've done was I just printed it out. And I'll just use an example of another piece of paper. This is just, see this is photo paper. I'm just a card from She Modern. And what I have is actually comes on a big old roll. I'll put the link to this down below. This is matte contact paper in clear. There's shiny, there's matte, whichever one you would like to use. I unroll it out, say the night before you want to do it, roll it out nice and flat, tape down the ends, make sure that's flat, put something heavy on it because this one that I will give you the link for is in a roll. So you'll want to Make sure that it's flat, it's not curling up on you, what have you. Then what I do, you just peel off. See, this is what it looks like. You just peel it off. Now, if it was a big one, I would still have this taped down. But since it's just a little temporary thing, what I do is I place my image on there one side and gently kind of smooth it over smooth it out I actually do this on a glass table so that I can see underneath as I go along make sure that your inks 100% dry before you start this and then you flip it over make sure you've got all the bubbles out and then you have a nice mini mat see she modern could be using this you could just have that in the center, whatever you've printed out. And then I stick it down onto my surface and you're ready to go. So far this seems to be acetone resistant. The other type of binder paper thing is not acetone resistant at all. So I got tired of replacing these and I just went for the contact paper. So anybody would like to do this you're welcome to do this there's also there's also self-adhering laminating pages that you can get to do it yourself all the instructions are on there I just like this because I can tape it down where I'm at I can pull it up say if I wanted to change locations or if you're doing it on your kitchen table or what have you you can pick it back up it's only going to stick a few times but I leave mine in place it's just a cool way to have your own custom mani mat. So thank you everyone for being here today. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And when you're watching other YouTube channels, including my own, please make sure the little bell down below is turned on. There's been a lot of problems on YouTube where the bell has not been turned on. I've had it happen to friends of mine. I watch, go to say, hey, I haven't seen your video in a while. I go looking for their channel and the bell's turned off. So make sure when you're watching your YouTube that that bell's turned on. And everybody, thank you for being here with me today. Have a great day until next time you be you and I'll be me. Bye-bye.